Well, cell phones, parents, this may not be a surprise to you. They are quite the distraction in school. And with just five weeks until the start of classes, Martin County is proposing a major crackdown. In fact, the school board is set to vote on a new policy allowing teachers to confiscate cell phones more often. WPTV's edu education reporter Stephanie Suskind is getting reaction to that harsher punishment. Cell phones have to be turned off and put away in classrooms in the state of Florida. Now, Martin County Schools is looking for harsher punishments for students who violate that law. Go Knowles! <laughs> Recent Martin County High School grad Austin Lott says seeing cell phones in class wasn't so uncommon. I took a lot of AP and ACE classes and the students there are dedicated like so and those students they know if they like I hate to say this but they know if they need to be paying attention at certain parts so the phones were out sometimes. But now hearing about potential new cell phone consequences Austin says he's glad he graduated. If you're caught with your phone during class time it's taken away. Your parents have to pick it up at the end of the day. I think that's crazy. <laughs> I hope that gets voted no. According to a new proposed student code of conduct, Martin County middle and high school students would have their phones confiscated if caught using them during instruction time. Parents would then have to pick up the phone at the end of the school day. One idea from a focus group on the topic would take the phone for the rest of the semester on a third offense younger students would see less severe punishment. That's a pretty drastic step, potentially taking a phone from a student for the rest of the semester. It is, uh, but that's what our board is there. Like I said earlier, you know, our board is really committed to protecting the learning environment and really ensuring that our schools have the ability to educate all students. And to achieve that goal, they have to limit all the distractions that, you know, play a part in that. Like they keep it? Like, what do you mean that they just keep your phone? Like, Apparently. That does not even make sense. <laughs> but total removal is going to come with a lot of challenges, a lot of headaches, a lot of unforeseen problems. John Stexter is a school principal in New York visiting family here in Stewart. He calls cell phones one of the biggest challenges in education today with no easy answer. It's part of our fabric of our life right now, and they'll be curious to see how this really edu um, impacts education moving forward. The school board meets on Tuesday evening to discuss these code of conduct changes and take a vote that would put them in effect for the new school year. In Martin County, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.